The Annamite Mountains are very rich in biodiversity. There is a lot of endemic species. The scientific community started to access this zone in the early 90s and this is when they discovered a new species uh, like the Saola and the large Anton Munchak. Hunting is, is the biggest pressure and biggest threat. So we discover new species but uh, they might soon uh, be extinct in the very near future. So this is why we want to focus on, on wildlife conservation uh, activities in this region. We are working on wildlife monitoring with camera traps. So this includes mammals and birds. We leave them in the field for about two months and when we analyze the data we can have some information on the, the trend of population. So we want to know if the population are increasing, decreasing or uh, staying the same. We are also using a camera trap to survey the population of a large antler munjak. This is a species that is uh, critically endangered and is restricted to the Annamite Mountains of Laos and Vietnam. We survey otters uh, with camera traps as well to confirm what are the different species of otters that occur in Nakanamton. We know that there are at least two different species, including the Asian small clawed otter. In addition to camera traps, we are uh, also using uh, environmental DNA technique, or eDNA, to survey biodiversity in the area. So this is quite a novel technique that consists of extracting uh, animal DNA from water samples. Terrain is so difficult to access that using eDNA will facilitate biodiversity surveys to give us uh, information about species distribution across the landscape and also over time. This is also a method very useful to survey species uh, that are very rare, such as the Saola. So we are collaborating uh, with the Saola Working Group to detect Saola in Nakanamton using the eDNA method. The Saola is probably one of the most threatened and most elusive mammal species in the world, uh, and only very few remain in the world. We also work on the distribution and taxonomy of gibbons. Two species occur, and because we can identify the species with a detailed analysis of their calls, uh, we want to collect some samples across the protected area, and we can find out which uh, species occur in the protected area. There was um, making the halam vocalization, yeah. I mm -hmm. think it's that, um, but there, there was not running away. So we want to study the behavioral ecology of the red shangduk. Uh, so for this, we want to habituate them to our presence, uh, wearing some clothes that the dukes can recognize and they can distinguish between the hunters and our team. So we want to know uh, what kind of uh, species, plant species they eat because this is a species that uh, is uh, highly uh, threatened. Um, so in the future we might need this kind of information if we want to keep them in captivity and do some reintroduction. We have uh, 24 rangers who do some uh, patrols uh, around our field station. They cover about 300 square kilometers. So it's 24 people that we hire from the local community, from four different villages, and we train them to, to be uh, rangers. We decided to produce some exclusive uh, books to target uh, an audience of uh, young kids in, in Laos and uh, also in Vietnam. So the story follows um, a father with uh, his uh, daughter and son. They will meet some animals that we find um, in the Annamites. And this is the Saola. <laughs> they free the Saola from the snare and they collect the snare 
so that the hunters cannot use it again. Uh, so the final message is uh, yeah, respect and, and protect the biodiversity. Something uh, I would like to develop more in the future is to do some uh, field course and uh, involve more Lao people and do some training because I want, I want them to take um, ownership of the project. Thank you.